Here's what we're going to do in this video. Enjoy my work in the intro. Today we're going to focus on drawing the mouth and we'll spend a little time on teeth. I'm doing a relatively large drawing for the sake of demonstration, but these techniques will work even for a smaller drawing. So let's get into it. I'm going to start by just adding a little bit of number two pencil around the mouth. I'm going to create some skin and in and, and, and that way I'm going to uh, create some contrast for what I'm going to build coming up out of that background and my voice is kind of messed up <laughs> I've been sick for a couple of weeks so I hope you can bear with my voice just hang in there and maybe I can show you a couple things the first thing I'm also going to be doing is looking for my dark darks and I'm using a number two pencil an HB pencil I'm just putting it, putting it down in layers. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I talk about that a lot. And you may look at this in the end and say, well, why didn't she just push those darks in the beginning and just, uh, you know, take erasers and create highlights and that kind of thing. And, and you can do that. Um, I like to just build up values. I really do. And it gives me more control and I don't end up feeling like oh gosh I just ruined the whole thing so right here um, I'm just going in and kind of darkening up some lines that are going to have some shifts in value where it's going to be dark in some places light in others and I just kind of want to make them stand out for me so that I can see them and so I can know what to do with them What I'm doing with this shading is adding some shape, just general shape to how I want the mouth to look. I want it to look like it's protruding. I want it to look like it's got form. Uh, I don't want it to just be a flat structure. And if you're doing a portrait and the most uh, dominant feature that a person has is their mouth, their lips, you're going to want to be able to capture that. You're going to want to be able to capture where the light bounces off, uh, making the lips fuller or narrow with more dark shades. But um, that's what I'm doing right now with these first layers. And right here, I'm going in just uh, redefining the lines that I've laid down. I often take a tissue and blend out layers of my number two pencil, my very first layers, and just go all the way around the mouth really because I don't want to have, I really don't want to have harsh lines. I want it to all just kind of uh, blend and, and be soft and kind of melt into the skin. Here I'm using a 4B pencil to kind of push those darks. And you know, if, again, if you've seen any of my videos, it's probably very repetitive the things that I say because the techniques and the, the the little tricks they don't change the structures may change how you look at them may change but how you define them develop them and and really create the illusion that doesn't really change now I'm using a number 4B pencil and um, this is going to help me push those darks even farther. And now my favorite, a makeup brush dipped into charcoal powder. That helps you get dark really quick, like baking in the sun quick.
it also helps you to cover larger areas I use a smaller one this is the largest one I use for this particular drawing and notice I smudged a little bit of the powder or uh, residue from what was left on the brush across the teeth we'll get back to that in a minute Just adding more layers of number two pencil. And I don't know about you, and this may sound weird, but I can kind of feel my drawing. I can feel where things uh, have um, curves. I don't know if that's weird or not. Probably is, but that's me. Going back in with a 4B pencil. It's sort of like rinse, no, that's backward. It's sort of like wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, <laughs> repeat. Oh goodness. I think this is the weirdest one I've done. I'm gonna blame it on the cough medicine. So I'm moving uh, back and forth with number four pencil 4b pencil and a paper stump and I'm pushing the dark values into the paper so it makes these more uh, visible it looks like I'm just filling in the lines you guys but it's it, it really is a lot more than that and in a minute for some reason my video is about to zoom out I don't know why this happens it happens for about two minutes I think <laughs> But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe you can get a better uh, overall view of it. I'm going in with a number four charcoal pencil. Again, pushing those darks. Really creating some texture here. I'm going in now with my flat small makeup brush and I'm trying to create a little dark negative space. There we go we're back <laughs> and here I am uh, most people will tell you when you're drawing a mouth and you're drawing teeth do not make any harsh lines between teeth because it does look crazy it looks very goofy but uh, sometimes I will add just a little bit of number two pen so if it's in this larger picture especially um, because I'm going to use an eraser to soften those and to create highlights that are going to get rid of the harsh lines. Uh, this mouth just has so much light bouncing off of it in different areas and the teeth are, are no exception. Another thing about layering pencil, um, layers of pencil, is that you're trying to overcome the tooth of the paper. The tooth is the graininess that a good drawing paper will have. Now we're not talking about Kinko's copies and that kind of uh, really smooth surface paper. We're talking about any kind of artist grade paper or this, in this case, bristle paper, which is my favorite. And 
um, it's it's got a lot of graininess to it and so you're it's able to receive a lot of layers and those layers uh, do have a purpose it's not just um, repeating you know I don't know how to say that but it's purposeful layering is purposeful Now, are you starting to feel it come up off the page? I feel it. I don't think it's just my cough medicine. Now, this view of my drawing has to do with me picking up this project in another location on another drawing surface. I got a brand new drawing table that tilts 40 degrees up. And I was so excited to use it. I'm like, okay, we're going to do part two of this video. Well, it's not even part two. It's maybe the last four or five minutes. We're going to do it on my new table. And I love it. But it's got a weird angle to the video now. And I'm just going to have to figure that out for the next one. I'm trying to avoid areas that I know are going to be true highlights where there's not going to be much color at all and uh, even so I'm going to go back in with an eraser in a minute and uh, pull up some of that charcoal and pencil and just kind of uh, create some highlights. Notice how that top lip looks like it's glistening and look at the teeth. The teeth are starting to glisten now too. At this point, I'm going to do some eraser work. Right now, I'm using a kneaded eraser and picking up, you know, some of what I've put down. Especially on the teeth. And then where I uh, drew those, you may not be able to see it from this video, but where I drew those hard lines to create some fissures or crevices in the lip, uh, I'm going to go in with this pencil eraser after I'm done with this edge. There was a weird texture to the corner of the uh, reference photo's mouth. It was a, rear, well, a weird bumpy texture and that's what I did with the eraser. But I'm going in with those uh, those lines and I'm adding like light to either side of the line and that's that's kind of how the light bounces off of it if you stare at a photo and you look at uh, uh, you might want to do this just for fun stare at a photo a close-up of a mouth or, or anything that has a crevice and you'll notice that it's dark in the center and then there's light on uh, either side of it at this point I'm adding another layer of number two pencil just around the whole structure of the mouth uh, to simulate skin and to add a little more contrast uh, so that that looks like a mouth. We're about done and most of what's left is eraser work. Just going in and tweaking it here and there. A little work underneath the lip because that lip doesn't lie flush against the skin it kind of protrudes so I'm gonna have to do something with that in a second you'll see that in just a second and that's the finished drawing I hope this tutorial was helpful don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out. I'll see you next time.